yeah today we're gonna be talking about just like how much wax i really use and like no joke i always come stocked like this is just og like golf like paraffin wax this is probably like the best wax loki i had some other extra wax that i got from cypress just some colored like dgk wax and like even like uh dan's told me like the colored wax with the dye is like not really like the best um because even in like the hotter weather you can see like this colored like wax does like kind of melt a little bit i get like i have some other wax in here too the, the little uh wax hound right there we have some other wax right here but yeah so in general i guess what i'm saying is yes i use like a ton of wax and like for everything like i'm usually always like even my brand new board right here we got a sea rat shop deck by the way um this is like an eight and a half board uh, 14 and a half inch wheelbase and I think it's like 32 and a half long but dude even on like a brand new board I usually do a pre-sauce especially if I'm in escape curbs or anything like definitely needs a pre-wax so like just like a surfboard you know I always wax that even my trucks like and I'm not even like joking like I'll even wax these and stuff like these are some old rails but like it's kind of crucial like people really don't like to talk about how much wax like they use probably or like admit to it but like i i love it you know why work harder when you can slide further you know but yeah anyways curb sesh for a little bit but i wanted to bust some of the wax so i'm gonna just bring this with me these have been kind of taken care of as well like these are all still pretty buttery i might have to do a little board slide check on all right we're gonna just do a little test right now Okay, yeah, they're definitely really buttery. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure if these are buttery. I mean, they're like kind of dry-ish, I feel. Your boy's gonna do a test it right now. Oh, that's so buttery, actually, what am I talking about? But even then, I'm still gonna wax it. So kind of just going back to like how much wax I actually use, like this isn't even like being that extra right now. I'd rather be extra careful and get into this kind of like a flat bar versus it just sticking on me. But like that's that's just me like i feel like the slide out is better than like the stick and like throw forward but um but yeah like no joke like I'm, I'm i'm pretty serious about waxing and how much i really use and it's like i'm not even like shy of saying that i even like will wax my board and then the curb in between tries feels good yeah it feels real good see there's I'm, one other good one over here but these curves are kind of hard to get in. they're kind of they're kind of tall and they're kind of slanted you know what is I mean? Is that what it is? I mean, it's not slanted, I guess. They're kind of vertical, you know? Yeah, they're pretty vertical. And they're just tall. Yeah. They're a little higher than regulation, you know like, what I mean? You have to know how to slap the gear and to ride these kind of. It's like, not you're a good not thing wrong. to learn on, but it's probably good if you know what you're doing. And so they're like big, they're like curved flat bars to me. Yeah. You know? It's like some good tilt is on it, you know? Yeah, that's nice. Right? You don't have any drag. It's like really chill. Pros and cons. I was doing this thing where like you can't get fully on. You get like that, and you yeah. get kind of stuck. Yeah. Or if yeah. it's waxy, you kind of like work your way into it a little more. A video today was just actually like how much wax I really use. Oh yeah. And I how like it that. really does benefit you. Yeah, you. I'm, I'm one of those people that normally doesn't wax. Yeah. To be honest, like I, I've See, never been a big waxer that like skin pulls. Whatever. Yeah. And then like yeah, when I'm on the session with you and you wax, I'm like yeah, it's so much more fun. At the end of the day, we're trying to have fun. Yeah, and, and it I, makes it way more fun. <laughs> Well, I think right. I just don't like to struggle as much too. Yeah, and like exactly. If, and like a if little I struggles okay, yeah. but like come on, it makes it, it does make it fun and a little bit easier. And like people even say like rails are cheating, but like yeah, it might be cheating, but it makes Dude, it more fun. It's so nice. Fine. Yeah, you know I feel mean? yeah exactly. Maybe when I was younger, I was against waxing so much, or maybe I was just always told to not wax so much. I think it was more of an etiquette thing, right? I guess, and it makes sense. Like totally at a skate park, it makes sense. You can't be like just waxing everything in the skate park and being a dick like that. Yeah, but like, at the spot, by the time you're done with the session, it's probably going to be dry, especially because it's raining so much. Oh, you're not. That's a, that's a good valid point, too. I'm um, like, even like why like I wax ledges so much and everything is because like it does rain, obviously, and it gets dewy and wet and like a little cakey and dirty. And you got to rewax it. Dirt, too, because California has a lot of sand moving around when there's like it's sun, like it gets like you you're know, not wrong. It's windy, so it's like you kind of. I guess what I'm saying, like, to the point of, like, etiquette and not waxing the skate park, the reason with spots is good because people aren't constantly skating it. Exactly. So, like, you need to constantly wax. And so I wanted to also point out, like, when you see, like, black marks, that doesn't mean it's going to slide right away. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? When I you see wax marks. That yeah. sometimes. I tried one over there. And like, you stuck oh. right away. I yeah, saw stuck, in the middle. Yeah. And I was right like, away. dang, it needs wax, man. Yeah. But, like, I was saying, you can't be shy to wax, you know? Even, like, I already even, like, pre-wax my nose and stuff when I, like, skate, like, a fresh board normally. I guess that's paint on it, but still, you know? You know what I was doing recently? I was doing, like, a backsmith on a jersey barrier. I was doing that. 
I was even waxing that yep. whole zone, just like kind of slapping it on there. And it's crazy how like it low key helps. Like, oh, so and much. sometimes I feel like if you're like, yeah, like it, trying something like that, like a feeble grind. Throw some wax on it. Yeah, you never know. You're gonna get it. You're gonna be able to push it in a lot further. It's not like it's funny when you say cheating because there is no cheating to skateboarding. You still have to know how to do the trick. Like <laughs> you're just getting a little bit of an advantage. I mean, you know what I mean? cheating doesn't. Advantage. No such thing. Exactly. I, I think people always say that though. They're like, oh, what's well, cheating? You know? <laughs> it's helping. It's a helper. Yeah. It's just a way to like um, undermine the trick. Yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, I actually am just being smarter and not working as hard. Exactly. <laughs> and then you can grind so much longer and it looks so much sicker. So, I don't know. You have more fun. Exactly. That's, That's over it all. <laughs> we're just going to get a little warm-up on this thing, breaking it in, you know. Got some more wax. I this did wax. This is like curb heaven. So, like, this, it's funny how we're skating this curb, but there's so many all over the place. But, like, a lot of them kind of all need wax, which they is do. funny. So, you got to kind of pick which one you want to skate unless you want to wax them all. Exactly. Or do so My kingpin grabs so gnarly, so time for some more wax. I stepped in mud on my new grip tape, so my new grip is like nice and broken in now and muddy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, take advantage of that long slide, you know? Hell yeah. Now you'll get a good one. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens sometimes. It's like so good you get stuck. And you're like, oh, I just gotta ride this out. <laughs> Mud spot, you can see right where you hit it. <laughs> Dang. Funny how dirty grip is like inevitable, but I hate it. Yeah, you're at least let me get one session before it's yeah, completely it's dirty. Seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy be drinking the Kool-Aid. I think the good thing about being locked in is you know you're in there. Like you hear it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hearing it helps so yeah. much. Hell yeah, it gives you confidence. Like, all right, I'm in there. 
because I can't. I know how people skate sometimes with headphones. Like, oh my gosh, so much of skateboarding is noise. At least for me, me yeah. Too. Even where you pop, you hear everything. You gotta hear it. Yeah. yeah. It's oh, oh yeah, you got it. All right. All right. right here. Oh. That's it. Money. Dang, I literally forgot my good wax at the air spot. But that's why your boy's always on deck with the extra wax. And I feel like just to even like go back to waxing, I haven't even skated this thing yet and I'm still gonna wax it before I skate it. Cause I don't wanna like get on it and stick and have a bad time. This time, I'm gonna have a good time no matter what. And Dowdy, that's the holding up pretty nice, that Bondo job that you did. Good stuff, sir, good stuff. No such thing as too much wax or too much sauce. You know? And like, you gotta make sure you hit the wheels too. Like, this is a very crucial spot. If you're doing nose slide, tail slide tricks, make sure you hit the edge. This is very crucial right here. Like, I'm, your boy's really waxing this thing. <laughs> I wanna get in and slide, you know? <laughs> Especially where your wheels go. Yep. Yeah. And like I have soft wheels, I have like 99, so like I need to wax it even more. Ooh. <laughs> He's climbing first tee, let's see. Oh! All right, all right, first tee, take two. <laughs> His foot was just like. You never know. You never know. Exactly. It's that pepper grip. It is. <laughs> Ooh, you're quick. Dirty. Woo! It must be nice to do tricks that hard third try. Dude, I've been thinking about that for a while. Sometimes when you think about a trick for a long time, it actually allows you to land it faster, right? Because you think about like all the case scenarios, like the different situations. You know that could happen. You know, yeah. And I just knew how like how it worked. How, yeah, how like buttery it got. I knew it was gonna only be better. Oh Dude, yeah. This was all possible to you. Oh no, nah, the group up, team though. effort. But he did show me it. He showed me it, and then I was like, all right, it needs a little look. It needs the repair, dog. Collaborative job. Oh. <laughs> Wax helps. Yeah. And lacquer helps, and the love helps. Yeah. The I think the, That's big, the recipe. Honestly, I think the big difference was just the rub brick. Getting because there was like little little brick pieces on there. Dude, it was so gritty. Yeah. It was actually insane. Yeah. And like, look how buttery that like was like, you know? Mm, nice work. Dude, I didn't think I was going to do it that 